welcome to another fiddlehead fiddle lesson. Now I'm going to do um, the tune Swallowtail Jig. I'm going to teach you an advanced version of it. If you don't already know the basic version, go watch that. And then there's also uh, a video for the intermediate version. So definitely do those first. So this has got some tricky stuff in it. Also, before doing this one, you'll want to be proficient in double stops, like the D double stop scale, slides, and also at um, turns. I mean, you might be able to pick that stuff up from this, but it would help if you um, watched another video about that um, before getting into this. But like I said, you may be able to just pick it up from that in here as well and learn it right now. All right. So I guess I'm just going to play this advanced version and then um, <clears throat> we'll uh, kind of go step by step through each phrase and show you what's different about this from the basic and intermediate versions, okay? I will just say off the bat that I'm going to do two A's, two B's. And in the first A part, I'm going to add some things. And in the second A part, I'm going to also add some double stops. So listen for that, okay? So here it goes. So, first phrase is, that's the basic version. Yeah, I'm not going to really spend time explaining or the, how, to, how to learn that. You, should, it, you could just look at the basic video for that. And so what's added to that is, I added that in the basic, ver in the intermediate version. So, if you've already done the intermediate video, then you know that already. Maybe you haven't seen the intermediate video and you're really good, you can just pick that up from listening to it. So, um, then the second thing, second phrase, that's how it's played in the intermediate version. Basic version was, all I added here in this um, advanced version is for this, I added a turn. If you haven't learned that at all yet, haven't learned turns, this is what's going on. Kind of going up, back, below, and then back to the note. So if this is the note that we're doing a turn around, then we're going to go. That's it in really slow motion. All right, and you can just slowly practice that and speed it up. turns just try to have a light touch it's not about precisely playing every single note being clear at least that's the way I think about it. it's more like a kind of a rhythmic thing like a little just rhythmic thing to wake you up in the tune or give it a little variation all right it happens pretty quick um, so so far we have So those, so basically, if you've done the intermediate version, the only new thing so far is the, is the turn. 
we already did the slide in the other version. Alright, so the whole A part so far, first A part. starting to sound pretty cool, like fiddling, real Irish fiddling. And now for the second A, I want to add some double stops. So on the first one I'm going to add on, on this phrase, we're going to go put my second on G. Basically we're forming um, notes from the E minor scale. So we're going to go. A nice subtle thing to do is to kind of play the melody note a little stronger. It's really, you just have to practice that a lot to get a feel for just subtly adding the lower harmony note. One thing you can do is, is use the double stop as an accent. Like, That's one option. At the end, the double stop I do is, is I take the one uh, first finger on D and A and do that slide that we've already been doing but with the double stop. Sounds cool. Um, so again, going back to the first phrase, you can also just sort of, instead of using the double stop as an accent, you can just drone dr double stops the whole time, gives it a different sound. It's just a musical choice, it muddies the melody a little bit. If you do it all the time. If you use it as an accent or more sparingly, then the melody pops out a little bit more. All right, so that's our A part. Um, hopefully that wasn't too fast or too slow. Um, or hopefully it's clear enough. Um, let me know. Try to answer questions in the comments below. And also don't forget to subscribe while I'm talking shop, talk making announcements. Announcements, announcements, announcements. Remember that from summer camp? Maybe you don't. Okay, now we're gonna do the B part. Um, so, basic version was. Intermediate version added a slide. Now we're going to add like a 16th note triplet. Slowing that down. So doing that whole phrase slowed. Okay, good. good. Um, and so you can do that 16th note triplet throughout this B part. Other thing I'm going to add is the same turn I added in the B part on the third finger on the A. there. Okay. Then we can add it at the end, I think, too. So let's do the B part without any double stops. First time through the B part. Oh, I forgot the 16th note triplet.
just add some double stops and a few spots for the second time to the D. Maybe in the beginning, the first time. And you do this slide up to this. Same double stop we had in three, four in the A part. Three on A, two on D. Did we do that? I think we did it. I might not have talked about it, but I think I played that before. Okay, here, here it goes with double stops. Stop. Uh, I think that's, I'll do it one more time, a little bit quicker. So, just a note on adding variation to tunes. If um, you're adding stuff, ask yourself, if it's really making it better. Like maybe you can't quite do it yet and it's just slowing the tune down or cluttering it up. You know, basically these are great melodies. You, don't, you wanna like preserve the melody. That's what fiddling's about while at the same time reinventing the tune. So a good practice for after you've tried out some variations is to go back to the basic, very basic tune. Just kind of reconnect with the basic version before, and then go and see if your variations still hold up. Maybe you'll pair some of them away. Another thing you can do is speed the tune up, because a lot of these tunes are, are played fast if you play with other people, and um, you know, see if you can do it fast. Okay, so just keep all that in mind. Um, but that was pretty fun. I enjoyed showing you that. Hope you enjoyed playing it, and uh, let me know. If you have any questions hope it was helpful and thanks a lot be sure to subscribe below to the fiddlehead channel have a great day have a great night okay thanks a lot